seat belt first because it won't come out of first gear. Yeah, gotcha. You ain't get it on. So you're in an A40, um, it's a 43 short ton capability, that's a capacity of this truck. Um, 460 some horsepower engine in it. That's a 13 liter. 13 liter, yep. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a very good, It's our trucks are where Volvo really, really shines. Um, they're the they're market, they have, we have market share in the world, best truck that, that's made. So yeah, it's a, it's a very good truck. So it has a bunch of different features which make it that truck is, it's got ATC on it, which is called automatic traction control. So you don't have to worry about what axle to turn on or lock in to get traction. It can do it for you. Um, yeah, so we can talk about this kind of as we're driving okay. it. So we'll get, get started here and you can go to your right. Okay. The cool thing is the visibility on everything I've been on today. Got excellent visibility out of these things. You can definitely see, and that's that's one thing. You know, the mirrors you can see behind right. you, around you. You have the yep. backup camera behind you. Yep, I've yep. seen that. Very good visibility for, for safety because that's one of our core values. Being able to see. We also have the camera in front right here, so you can look at it. And you can see in front of the, if somebody walk around oh, in front yeah. of your hood. And catch that blind side up there. Though. Yep, catches it as well. So it's a fully automatic nine speed transmission. It's all Volvo. That's a, the thing about this truck. It's matched powertrain. So Volvo builds every part of it from the engine, transmission, drop box, axles, everything is Volvo. So we have, much like your car, you can see this button here, that's cruise control. If I want to okay. just maintain it itself, it's on now. So it's maintaining, what, 13 miles per hour? If I want to increase it, you can place it, push it, it will go up three miles per hour. If I want to decrease it, down. If I want to cancel it, you can get the, you just cancel right it. Yep. <laughs> so if you're on a long haul road or whatever, you just bump that and just take off and go. Absolutely. So with that being said, if you have a long haul road with hills and you have to maintain the downhill speed, right? You don't yep. want it to overspeed. Which way do we need to go right here? To you the can right. go up the hill if you'd like. I'll show you a feature. You can go up this hill, and when we get up to, you can see on the dash, on the left-hand corner, it's got a percentage of grade that you're on. Oh yeah, I see that now. When you, so get up to, when you get up to the top, about 30% grade or better, just mash the brake on this side and stop right on that slope. Okay. Pretty steep hill. Yeah, it didn't look as steep like coming up to it. <laughs> You're looking at the sky, right? Yeah. So yeah, stop right here. So That's what it. what are you on now? 31%. Okay, now let off that brake. So the brake's going I'm assuming it's gonna hold us when Let's I let off that. Till I till I mess. <laughs> It'll assist. So are you the you the one that designed that then? Yeah, I, I built it. <laughs> You believe that, right? <laughs> that thing has got some so, low wheel power, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. So it's got like a jake brake or a... Yeah, you, you can going use down, a retarder or, pedal okay, so it's got, left if you want to do it manual. Okay. Um, okay. Or if you want to go down this hill once we start mm -hmm. down. You know, the truck knows you're going down a slope, so we're okay. at 7% now and I want to maintain that. I can push this button, let off of it. It'll maintain that speed down this hill every Where time we, we let off. Right so you just go straight okay. ahead. So when you give That's it fuel, cool. when you give it fuel, it'll go. Just keep on going. When we start down this other hill, it knows. Okay, I'm going down a grade. He told me to maintain that speed that I just said. So it'll, it'll, it'll automatically come on when you let off. Okay. Start down the hill. That. I seen it when it popped over right there. Yep. So it's maintaining that speed for you. You're not having to hit the brakes or anything. That's cool. So is it doing it hydraulically, or is it actually applying the brakes to it? It's, it's a, it's a, it's doing all of it for you. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Are you having?
having to hit anything? No, uh-uh. No, no, I'm just it's maintaining that speed. Well, because what's cool about that is like when you hit that bump, your foot wants to come off the brake, it you know, and you don't have to worry about it. Right. Yep. So we'll hold that button down and that'll cancel it. Okay. So now you're back to normal. Oh. Yep. So it does have an ATC, but so the automatic traction control part of it is where um, you have three axles. So normally when you're running a machine, it's pulling with the front axle and the middle axle and limited slip on those two axles. So what that means is if one tire on each axle is pulling at any given time, if it senses slippage with those, between those two axles, it kicks in the third axle and then an additional tire will start pulling. I got you. So what that does for you is it, it helps you um, not wear out tires because they're not all locked in at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, you, know, what, you know, burning fuel that don't need to. It's not wearing the tires out. So, one thing with that is since it's automatic, it goes in and out as needed. So, if you were in a slippery environment, say there was 10 inches of snow on the ground we were driving, well, the truck with ATC is going to automatically start in and out, in and out, as it senses that slippage. Um, so you, we put a button in it where we can turn it off and you can see on the dash uh -huh. now it's in normal truck mode and it's not going to be searching in and out, in and out, losing traction, okay, which is that button. Right. You know, however, if you look at the screen, see it's got one yellow button mm -hmm. in the center between the front axle yeah. and the middle axle. Yep. If I hold this down, look at the back. It locked it back on the back. So now I've got ATC that is all three axles are pulling on all the time. Make sense? All right. So to cut it off, you just hit this back here. Yep. Hit it again, it turns it back off. Everything's back to automatic. Okay. It's like a big comfortable it's Yep. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Guys love the seat. It's an air ride seat. Oh, yeah. There's probably 13 different adjustments. It's got a heated seat as well. The mirrors are all electric, um, they're heated as well, so you can adjust them, you can keep them from, you know, even in the rain. You know, people will say heated mirrors, well, I don't have to worry about it because it's not icy. Well, it helps in, you know, wet environments as well because when you turn the heat on, it sheets that water off and keeps it dry. And you can see, it keeps your building visibility here. So any kind of large piece of equipment visibility is the name of the game. I mean, that's one of your biggest safety things right there is visibility for the operator to be able to see what's going on. We need to go straight or to the left. You can go straight. Yep, absolutely. The visibility is key in, in safety. And, you know, and even using the machine properly, right? Putting it where it needs right. to be in a safe spot. That heel thing is cool, man. Yeah. That's a that's a big deal. Yeah, it can. And, and that right there back turns that on. Yeah, yes. Right? Yep. But you got to be on the slope. Oh, you got to be on the slope. Okay. I got you. You see, it knows it's flat. It's like you okay. really don't need it. There. I got you. Slope, so you get to like, yep, now hit it. Yep, now you're good. That is just cool as heck, right there. Does a good job. And when you're back to flat ground, it knows you don't need it anymore, so you can carry on and right. leave it on. let him so the way that you just went mm -hmm. you don't mind if you guys will go that way yeah, the same way okay. yeah and you can show him this stuff right. yeah yep. you turned it off okay yeah i'll see what you do
All right, so he is going to drive over these where we see the tandems work. or something yeah. there you go let's still record so slick some of the stuff that's built into this huge equipment and just how simple it is to run i comment on it all the time in these videos these different things that i film and show but that that truck right there had we had that thing on that pond down bill with uh let's dig over there a few weeks ago that would have been the bomb right there because it would have held almost double the amount of dirt that let's digs haul truck uh hell that that was a uh large machine <laughs> there and of course they make them a lot larger than that so uh hope you enjoyed that video at the end there that was actually nya millennial i rode with him while he was driving around uh, the guy that was in the truck with me actually worked with volvo and he hopped out and wanted me to ride with uh nya around through there so we we run around and <laughs> We actually went uh, backwards. We got behind uh, Tractor Time with Tim, and he said, uh, "He said I'm not going to ride behind him the whole time." So we, when we got to a fort, we split off one way, and then we ended up meeting Tractor Time with Tim head on on another one of those little roads <laughs> over there. So we were having fun. You could see the snow falling whenever I got out of the uh, haul truck. So got more tree videos coming up. Uh, some more good equipment videos coming up. I uh, got some uh, chipping videos that are going to be coming up. I just kind of got to go through everything, just edit up different things. I'm trying to kind of keep things somewhat mixed up between the tree wire equipment and, and what have you. Just trying to keep it uh, interesting. So appreciate all the views and y'all have a good day. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.